morning, y'all. It's Saturday. Yeehaw! And I'm heading up to Cincinnati to get a trailer, then up to Detroit, or to Windsor to drop that trailer, then back to Detroit to grab a trailer that's loaded to go to Pennsylvania. For those of you who said I wasn't going or didn't say where I was going in yesterday's vlog, there it is. I'm going to Pennsylvania on Sunday for Monday drop. You know who you are. I ain't gonna say no names, Brenna. Anyway, if you look out here, it's really, really gloomy outside. Pavement's wet right now. And I heard that they're supposed to be getting some crappy weather coming through. So hopefully I can get out of Detroit before anything hits <clears throat> on Sunday morning. Let's hope, pray, you know, them kind of things. So anyway, let's get the day started. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm in North Baltimore now. I can't find a good place to put that. And it's laundry time. I know. I'm not going home this weekend. So I've got to do my own laundry. Yippee kaye kayo kayo popo. No idea what I'm saying. So right now I'm trying to find quarters, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I'm either gonna have to buy some quarters or hopefully the, these machines take credit card like some machines do now. It's a lot more convenient when the truck steps have the credit card machine uh, washer and dryers. Just swipe your card and go. Brenda, why aren't you here helping me do this? I hate doing laundry. God bless the woman that I married for doing my laundry every weekend for me. And putting up with this silly guy. I forgot my towel. I just keep forgetting to put stuff in this bag. And this bag keeps getting thicker and thicker. <laughs> Ugh. Get in there. I'm squishing the bounce dryer sheet box. I'm trying to get all this crap in here. And I am hungry. I just had a juice this morning. A naked juice. Banana strawberry, because that's what Memphis told me to get. Because I asked him what I should get, and he said banana. Oh, a Nature Valley Granola Bar. Very healthy for you. I know, because I looked at the ingredients. So, uh, we're going to get out of here and go in and see people. All right. I got done eating. I'm doing my laundry now. Just came outside to get some fresh air. Is that still air in there? Um, they added a few new things in here. They're doing some facade work. Only a couple other things that they do have here. They got. I don't know if you can see it. They do have like a little basketball court here. Outside chapel. They also got an indoor chapel. I don't know what the they're gonna get rid of that or not and I just noticed this too yes they put a cornhole game outside for drivers to get a little more exercise they do have an exercise room in here I'm not gonna go in it because I'm not gonna take a shower here because it's $13 to take a shower here I'm not paying 13 bucks for a flipping shower so we're going to go across the street and get one for free. Because I have one on my rewards card for free. But, anyway, I'm going to go back in now. It's getting cold. It's not as cold out as it was earlier. But it is chilly. 
I've got the wind on my back, so that's probably why it's not as chilly. Well, yeah. done eating, done laundry. So I guess it's time to get up to Detroit so I can get hooked up to this trailer. I was supposed to take the one that I have in the Windsor, but yeah, that ain't happening. I don't have the right papers to go into Canada with it. And nobody wants to answer me, so. So let's get up into Detroit and this guy's all but stupid crooked. And when I mean stupid crooked, I mean stupid crooked. Stupid crooked. Oh, I left my light on. I guess I'm not home though. Anyway. I'm gonna get in the truck. Bye. You know what really, really hurts? Is when you're bending down to pick something up off the floor. You stand up and all of a sudden you hit your head on something like that. Right, right there. That that really hurts. So, oh uh, man, uh, <laughs> I think sometimes life as driving experience. You know how you get on that highway and you just go, go, go. Nobody else in front of you. And you can just go. And then all of a sudden you get to a town or something or an accident. And all of a sudden you got traffic stopping you. Well, life is just like getting on that highway with nobody there. You just go. And you go. And you go. And then all of a sudden life will just throw a traffic jam into you. Slow you down. Life lesson, do what you need to do to get out of that traffic jam. On that note, I'm going to edit and go to bed. I got a long drive tomorrow down to Pennsylvania. So remember, keep the rubber side down and the shiny side up things will be okay.